What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sunny Brooks, and for those that are new here, welcome. For those that are not, welcome back. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, the notification bell, and leave me any comments, questions, or concerns below. Um, today, we're talking about journal topics. I told you guys that I was going to do a video about journaling, which I decided to give you guys a journal topic every day because journaling is like what much well, how much can I talk about journaling you know what can I really say besides grab a pen grab a pencil something to write with and something to write on and you know either reflect or write what comes up but today I'm going to give you journal topics for an entire month literally I have 31 different journal topics <music> So you can journal each one of these um, each day and it's going to be good because August is right here so you can start now. Okay, so if I'm looking at my paper, hey, bear with me because I can't remember 31 different questions all at the same time. So I wrote these down, I came up with them on my own and I'm sharing it with you. Number one, what and who have I been avoiding? Real good, right? Day two. What do I need and or want right now? A lot of times we talk about the things that we want, but what do you need? Or vice versa, we may talk about what we need, but what do you want? Both are very valid. Day three, how can I experience more peace, joy, and love in my life? Number four, what is my dream and why? I didn't say dream job, dream passion. I didn't say, what is your dream? Like, what do you dream about, right? And why? Day five, what is my idea and or definition of success? Because everybody's version of success is different. So is it once you put your bills on auto pay? Is it once you're able to travel whenever you want to without going in debt? Like, what is your definition and your idea of success? Day six, what belief Things and actions should I let go? What belief, things, and actions should you let go? Like, what you got to do? What you, what you need to let go? What, what's not serving you? Day seven, what actions do I need to take? So, you know, some stuff you've probably been putting off, some things you need to get done that you just haven't gotten done. What actions do you need to take? Um, the next day is... Day eight, how can I better support myself? Not how can you support others, not how can others support you. How can you support you? Like, how can you show up for you? How can you make yourself feel supported without the support of others? And if support is something that you kind of been struggling with and battling with, go listen to my um, recent podcast episode. I talked about um, trying to basically achieve success and not having the support that you expected and also dealing with the negativity that comes with it. My um, podcast is Sunny Days. You can find it on all of the streaming platforms. But Sunny Days, I talked about it. Day uh, nine. How can I support and connect more with those around me? Day 10, what habits do I need to break? Am I in your business yet? No, because these ain't no fluff topics. I didn't do fluff. I ain't do that. I did. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to the real, 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 real good stuff. Okay. All right. Day 11, what am I passionate about? What you passionate about? What lights your soul on fire? What makes you like just boom? What are you passionate about? Day 12, what matters most to me? That's kind of getting into those values, right? But what matters most to you? Is it um, quality time? Is it integrity? Is it honesty? Is it um, dependability? Is it, um, you know, being able to travel? What matters most to you? What matters most? Day 13, what is something I would like to do more of and why? What is something you would like to do more of and why? For me, I would like to do more of yoga because I have gotten away from that practice. And um, it really brings me joy. And I it makes my body feels good, feel good. It makes my mind feel clear. Like, 
I just want to get back into it and I have it. So that's something I want to do more of. What do you want to do more of and why? Um, and it may not be something tangible like that. It may be more so like maybe listening to others, maybe taking care of yourself better. You know, what do you want to do more of and why? Day 14, what are my most important needs and desires? Day 15, does my present life fulfill me? Why or why not? Does it fulfill you? Are you fulfilled? If you are, amazing, amazing. If you're not, why not? Day 16, which three words describe me best? Why? Just three, not seven, not seven, three. Oh, Sunday, that's going to be so hard. I know. Which three describe you best and why? Number 17, day 17, what are my personal gifts and talents? Gifts and talents, not skills, gifts and talents that come from within. That's just like, you've been doing it. You don't have to think twice about it. Um, people tell you you're really good at it. Like your gifts and talents, not skills, gifts and talents. Day 18, what are my most important values and why? What are your most important values and why? We talked about some other things. What was important to you? What was your desires, your needs, things like that. So I did values in the middle so that you have already gotten your juices flowing to answer that question. Day 19, how am I living in ways that are not aligned with my values? What you doing that ain't, you know, you know it ain't got nothing to do with your values, right? What are you doing that is not aligned with your, aligned with your values? Day 20, what are your strengths? Simple. Day 21, what are your weaknesses? Right. And these you can change. I keep saying you or your, but it says 20, what are my weaknesses? I mean, 21, what are my weaknesses? Day 20, what are my strengths? Day 22, what are the five most beautiful things on earth to me and why? Five most beautiful things on earth to you and why? It could be places, you know, it could be like, oh, the Grand Canyon. Or it could be small things. It could be like my bathroom setup is one of the most beautiful things to me, right? What are the five most beautiful things to you on earth? Day 23, what would you tell your future self? What would I tell my future self? Day 24, what would I tell my younger self? That one, mm, mm, mm. that one, that one, talking to our younger self, our, um, the younger version of us can be difficult at times, can just be, yeah, so what would you tell your younger self? What would you tell your child self? Day 25, what am I most proud of? What am I most proud of? I think this is so important because we can talk about the things we want, the goals we're trying to accomplish, like just keep trying to go to the next thing. But what are you already proud of? Like, what are you proud of? You may have, you know, gotten a degree. You may have um, learned how to, you know, communicate effectively. You may have learned how to speak fluently in another language. You may have um, taken the initiative to restore a relationship that, you know, was broken. Like, what are you most proud of? Day 26, how do I recharge and rejuvenate myself? How do I recharge and rejuvenate myself? And then this is the bonus. Okay, you know what you do to recharge and rejuvenate yourself or what you can do to recharge and rejuvenate yourself, rejuvenate yourself. But are you doing it? How often are you doing it? Okay. Uh, day 27, what empowers and inspires me? Not who. What empowers and inspire you? What empowers and inspire you? Day 28. What are five of my long-term goals? Long-term. So that's like five plus years. Or, you know, it depends, right? Because long-term could be one year for you, but normally long-terms are considered three to five-year goals. So what are your long-term goals, five of them? Day 29, how do I wish to be remembered? How do I wish to be remembered? Like, what is your legacy? What is the legacy you're trying to create? What do you want people to remember you by? Like, what, um, 
yeah, how do you wish to be remembered? Day 30, what has been going well in my life? What has been going well in my life? This gives us the opportunity to practice some gratitude, to practice um, some things that we may not, you know, do all the time. Because, again, we, we try to strive and go to the next thing, especially in this capitalistic ass society. So what is going well right now? If you don't get anything else or do anything else, what's going well right now? And day 31, I love this one. Day 31 is... What life lessons did I learn the hard way and why? What life lessons did I learn the hard way and why? You can put however many you want, but what life lessons did you learn the hard way and why? Why do you feel like you learned those the hard way? Hmm? Um, so these are 31 journal prompts that I think you can use. Just You can write them down or refer back to this video, but literally just journal the answers to each question every day and i'm telling you your heart gonna feel lighter your mind gonna feel clearer and your spirit is gonna feel alive because this really gets really really deep and i didn't want to do little fluff questions um those are some good questions let me know in the comments if you have any questions comments or concerns or do you like these questions do you want me to do like maybe journal prompts every month or like what do you want me to do maybe once a quarter y'all tell me what y'all want me to do by journaling because Listen, when it comes to digging deep and finding our answers and stuff, I'm really good at that. I'm really great at the personal development, the personal growth, the, um, you know, being introspective and just trying to improve ourselves or um, not even improve ourselves, be content with ourselves sometimes or know more about ourselves. I'm really great at those things. So journaling is one of those things that help with that. So let me know if you have any comments, questions or concerns. If not, I'll see you again later. And until we meet again, I love you. Bye.